today's video in today's video I am gonna share with you this wonderful facial mask that I'm wearing this is an anti-aging facial mask made up of some very unique ingredient that is just really amazing for the skin and if you notice I'm wearing it on my hands too because this is good not only for the face but for the neck the decollete on your hands this facial mask is a collagen booster that is gonna just plug that skin up and it's gonna give you this radiant glow just a younger looking you so if you're interested in this facial mask that I'm wearing to die uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. continue watching the video to make this facial mask I'm gonna use some gram flour as a base and gram flour is actually dried blended chickpeas now gram flour contains a lot of wonderful properties that can benefit your skin now let's look at the gram flour up close here it is blended dry chickpeas now gram flour contain an ingredient called saponis and this help to cleanse the face it help to get rid of grease from the face it also help to get rid of acne from the face but what I most like about gram flour is that it also help to tighten and firm the skin the second ingredient is a very popular skincare ingredient and one that I personally like to use a lot for its many benefits for the skin and this is our aloe vera. I'm gonna be extracting the aloe vera gel which is the best part to use on the skin. Now aloe vera gel is typically used when you get a little too much sun and need some relief but aloe vera have much more benefits than that. It contains antioxidant, enzyme, vitamins, a and C and it is highly anti-inflammatory it helps treat sunburn acne dry skin and not only that it helps to tighten the skin it helps to firm the skin and it leave your skin just soft supple and radiant if you do not have fresh aloe vera gel not to worry get yourself some store-bought aloe vera gel now here comes the next ingredient which is green tea wrinkle fighting loaded 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 with antioxidant that is great for the skin green tea will not only help to boost your collagen production but it will just leave your skin radiant using green tea on your skin will help to clear blemishes from the skin while tightening and firming the skin now the final ingredient is coconut oil which is moisturizing not only that coconut oil also helps to clear the skin of spots and blemishes now the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna extract the aloe vera gel which is pretty easy just cut your halo and I'm just gonna use about an ounce or so of the aloe vera gel take a look at this and to extract this wonderful goodness I'm just going to cut the sides like this, both sides, and then I'm going to take my knife, place it right under here. Do not go too deep. Keep as close to the skin as possible. And then you remove the top part. And now we're going to go and do the same thing to the bottom. When you're searching for aloe, try to get the ones that are thicker. In that way you will be able to extract the gel easier if it's too thin sometimes it just you know take forever and here it is guys this is your fresh aloe vera gel and next I'm gonna blend so I'm just gonna put my aloe vera gel in the blender do not add any water to this just cover and blend okay. 
and take a look at this this is your blended aloe vera gel and take a note of this guys when you blend your aloe vera gel and it comes out like this this is a sign that is fresh aloe vera gel okay sometimes you blend aloe vera gel and you don't get it this frothy that is because it's old it's losing its properties so make sure to search for a fresh aloe vera when you're buying your aloe leaves so now that the aloe vera is ready let's go over our ingredient we are going to be using green tea we're using aloe vera gel we're using some coconut oil and we are also going to use some gram flour which is chickpeas flour i'm using one tablespoon which is 15 ml of the gram flour you can choose to double up on this recipe now for our green tea i'm using one tea bag which is about a teaspoon if you have loose leaf just blend it and use a teaspoon and we're pouring that in so now look what i'm doing i'm mixing the two dry ingredient together the gram flour and the green tea and i'm mixing well and i have an optional ingredient here and this is dried lemon peel blend to a powder and i'm going to use about a half a teaspoon of the dry lemon peel and then i'm going to just blend this together lemon peel contains vitamin c which is going to help to brighten the skin making this mask a complete mask for not only tightening and firming but also for brightening the skin next for the aloe vera gel i'm beginning with two tablespoons of the fresh aloe vera gel if you are using the store bought use the same amount two tablespoons and for our coconut oil i'm using one teaspoon of coconut oil which is 5 ml substitute coconut oil for your favorite oil you can also choose to use your anti-aging oil such as your organ oil or your rosehip oil to just kick it up a notch and now we're just gonna mix this together we're mixing this into a paste so just blend so really a perfect facial mask wonderful anti-aging skin brightening tightening and firming facial mask and now guys our facial mask is ready and take a look at it this is it right here this is your anti-aging facial mask made from gram flour green tea coconut oil and a bit of a lemon peel and aloe vera gel One. each time you're gonna use this mask always make sure to stir it before you apply it now guys as with any facial mask that you're gonna use on your skin I suggest you wash your skin first exfoliate your skin and when you do that that will leave your skin really clean to absorb the facial mask now I'm gonna use my hands to apply this facial mask I'm gonna apply it as if I'm applying lotion on my skin since it is very very thick now be generous with this facial mask okay do not skimp on it now here I have it and I like to just rub it in my hands like this look at that and then just apply it on the face we rub it in as if you're scrubbing the face with it you're definitely gonna get a little bit of an exfoliating action going on all right so just apply it all over your face this is also a perfect neck and decollete tightening mask so don't be afraid to go down on the neck and the decollete all right let me reach back for some more now facial mask is good to use two times a week or more all right because they are really beneficial to the skin when you let these ingredients sit on your skin you get the full benefit of them okay you don't want to just add these things to your face and wash them off immediately you want to let them sit on your skin penetrate deep into the pores and that's why for this facial mask and for most facial masks 
you're gonna sit with it for 30 minutes or more to get the best result. So now that my face is completely covered with the mask, I'm gonna sit with this for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, you want to rinse this off with some warm water. Personally for me, I like to sit with this one just a little longer, 40 minutes, but if you're short on time, 30 minutes. 30 minutes is minimum. Go as long as you want. Now, what will happen to this facial mask? While you sit with it, the mask is going to start drying on the skin. Now, when the mask is drying on the skin, what is going to happen? You're going to feel that tightening sensation on the skin. Not to worry. That is just the facial mask working. All right. So I'm going to sit with this and then I'm going to rinse off and I will be back to show you my result. What am I going to do with the remainder of mask on my hands? Guess what? I need my hands to look plump and younger also. So I like to just rub the balance on my hands like this. Now, once you do this, in order for you to move around the house, you will need a pair of gloves. So rub the balance on your hands, the leftovers, like this, and just stick them in a gloves and keep them on as long as you keep your facial mask on. All right, guys. So I'm sitting okay, guys, I am back and my skin is feeling really, really cool right now. Very refreshing, very soft. So next, I'm going to apply my facial toner, my serum, and my moisturizer. So I suggest you do the same and take a look up close. Mm-hmm. 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 